Grayson's really good at this video game. I agree. Rob is also a really good character. But I don't want to short Balance, who we barely have been able to see a lot of in this game as a whole. At least at the Shockwave scene, I feel like he's been... Not, I feel like I haven't even seen him do much at other tournaments. Like, he just hasn't been going out. Yeah, he uh, he doesn't attend a lot, um, you know, due to school and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, definitely have to have your priorities. But uh, he, I don't know if you know this, but he actually has been playing Game & Watch. Yes. Actually. He, uh, for a lot of matchups, uh, he feels like Game & Watch is the character that he wants to use. He says um, primarily he thinks Game & Watch beats all of the annoying characters. So, you know, just fight fire with fire right. in that sense. It makes sense. Uh, he does well against his owners because he has his own counter zone and he has Bucket that is really good against these projectiles. He has the up yet shield to deal with anything that touches his. He can play a very solid defensive game. And he has a chef at the ledge. I, I, for Rob, I feel like it's not that hard because you can just like up B forever. But yeah, I don't know how most characters are supposed to deal with that because like the the, the the bacon <laughs> is going under the stage. Mm. He's at roll distance. If you neutral get up or jump, you get hit. Get up attack doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Legitimately, there are times where I think you kind of like have to time your jump to where the bacon isn't there because it's not always going at the same arc, right? Yeah. But even then, if he reacts to the fact that, like, the timings that you're jumping, he can just drop bacon and he's in very little lag. Sure. I think that ledge trap is just broken, but I'm sure there's more counterplay that I haven't seen. Obviously, we're not seeing Game & Watches just bacon to the ledge in winning tournaments. Yeah. I think uh, what the character does struggle at, though, is he uh, definitely can't kill a yeah. lot of the time. If, if he has, you know, Bucket or stuff like that, or gets, like, a down smash into F smash, those yeah. are... He has kill options, but actually hitting them can be the hard part. Like, right there, he didn't kill Grace until 162. Yeah. And, and that was, like, all the way out there with back air. Super deep with a back air. He can ledge trap kind of okay, because that down smash has very little end lag, so he can you know, throw that up for a ledge trap and then set up for his strong smash attacks, but it's not always consistent. Yeah, and Grayson just kind of struggling to figure out what to do here. And, you know, if you hold on too long, then eventually he can, you know, mix up and run up and just try to hit you without the Legend Man's ability. Oh, that, and gets the... Yeah, gets the shield break with the bucket. That was so smart. Like, recognizing the moment, especially against perfect shields, you know, to parry, you have to drop shield. Yeah. Ooh, and Grayson goes for the side B, but unfortunately he's a bit uh, not going to connect. And now, these, these nares into up air, that's like... That's like a true thing. Mm -hmm. Like, if he hits you with like a Nair at zero, you're taking like at least 40 50 percent. If, if there's not a platform, which you might take more. And against a character like Game Watch, who can like kind of build that fortress and be really frustrating to get in on, that 40 damage is far from insignificant. It's so big. And he just keeps getting hit with these uppies. I feel like whenever he's landing or whenever he, uh, you know, catches Grayson with a dash, uh, dash attack or down tilt, he's ready, you know, uh, hand on the trigger with the, uh, I believe the, the, it's called fire, right? Yeah, it's fire. Yeah, the fire. But uh, either way, you know, oh, did he just get full he bucket did. there? I don't think full bucket, but I think he got uh, two pits, two bits mm -hmm. of it. So I know one thing that Game & Watch kind of, that can hurt him is if you absorb something that's not strong into the bucket, uh, then it won't do anything. Like, I know right. if he absorbs uh, Robin's fire, like, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Um, so what I do know also is that it only depends on what he gets on the last thing. Really? For uh, That's what Balance told me, is that... The strength of what's in the bucket is only based on the last thing that he actually picks up. That's crazy. Either way, not going to need the bucket. Uh, definitely hard for Rob to get down against that. It's a pretty big disjoint, just has the fishbowl up there. I right. think he died at like 170, 180, some pretty high percent yeah. up there. Really high up top as well, but like, the thing is Gamer Watch can get up there, and he if he throws out the disjoint fast enough, he can stuff into any nair attempts. Mm -hmm. And so they struck to FD. I feel like FD and Smashville are actually, I, I personally think Game & Watch is like best stages. Because in Smashville, that, that center platform, it lets him combo you forever. So like if he gets a hit at zero, you're taking like 60, 70. Do you know if these two have played before? Or yes, like Grayson won last time, but it was like game three. Okay. Because um, sometimes it's like inexperience against a character like Game & Watch, who even though they're like definitely a good character, they're a niche pick. I think the character's really good, personally. Uh, just in my, uh, just like watching him and looking at the moves he has. I think he's good, but like not a lot of people will play him. They, it's, you definitely have to have a certain style to want to commit to this character. Yeah, he's uh, definitely not the most fun to play against. And that I feel like that can definitely uh, kind of persuade a lot of people away from him. Yeah. But he does cover a lot of matches. He's an amazing counterpick character. Absolutely. 
And now, Balance just kind of looking for that third uh, part of the bucket there. I feel like Grayson needs to really kind of cut back on these lasers, because that's hurt him a lot. Uh, another fun thing that he missed there is the hammer. It only buries you if you get hit on the edge, like where the hammer actually is. Right. Um, so if you get hit like on the more inward part, I don't think it actually matters at all. Right, he just went like straight up because he was DI'ing in. Yeah. But it definitely shouldn't be a strong kill option. So, another reason why I feel like this is a really good stage, this and FD for Game Watch, is Game Watch is just gonna juggle, like, forever. With that Nair, like, you can't really come down against that move. Not only that, but, like, his ledge trapping's already good, but Smashville makes every character's ledge trapping better. And then I, I don't think that was techable there, I'm not sure, though. Yeah. And now, this is where Rob can definitely struggle to kind of get in. Game Watch has all those, you know, keep off me moves. You have to really just take your time. Got parry and a fire, because... You don't always have to go for a big option. You just recognize, I have a Punish here. Yeah, but that up be out of shield. Definitely going to help him out quite a bit. Ooh, and now he gets the bucket. This is where you do not want to be. Because even though the it's even right now, yeah. Broke the shield. And I fully charged down smash. Down into smash into F smash. Oh, no. That was such a up. fast match. I feel like... Uh, no, he's at 29. Yeah, he was at a very low percent. The, the idea was down smash for yeah. maximum damage. And then F... Yeah, I think mm. he chose the right option there, honestly. Yeah. Maybe just, like, could have just accepted the damage that he was getting and not try to go for an F-Smash to kill, because it wouldn't. Ooh, but that... Ooh, almost doing it. Yeah, that side B is crazy uh, when going so off the ledge. But, especially uh, against a light character like Game Watch. We didn't touch on it, but obviously he's very, very light. Yeah, he'll definitely die to most stuff Rob has at a pretty early percent, I feel like. The, the down throw um, up air, uh, mm -hmm. I think that's one of the things Rob does a lot to try to kill. But... Oh, the gyro barely saving him there, just kind of delaying the hitbox of the mm -hmm. bucket. It was scary because it also like extends the time that the hitbox is out, but it also gave Grayson time to react to the situation. For sure. And now, uh, you know, Balance has kind of surmounted himself a bit of a lead here, but he's gonna need to get the stock off. Ooh, and uh, he, I think he momentum dropped himself with bucket where he didn't mean to. Yeah. That down tilt wow, is one of the strongest moves. It's the strongest down Yeah, I think game. he just uh, connected with something that Grayson was throwing out, and that's what did it. Now mm. it's back to even, honestly. If he can get one good uh, Nair here, that's a lot of damage. So I'm looking for a jump there to catch it. Yeah, and this is where Grayson just kind of has to choose to go go high. And I, I feel like, again, Rob would probably struggle with this less than most characters because he can, he can do that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, getting around this ledge has definitely been kind of a feat for Grayson in this match. I feel like he's taken a lot of percent where... Uh, you know, maybe just deciding to go all the way out and up might have been, you know, a better option. The balance sticking to this ledge. He's pushing in here. Catches an air to up air. And this could be a big juggle. This yeah. is already so much damage. It's it's so hard for Rob to get down, especially, you know, combined to the fact that, like, those are projectiles that are going up there. Like, Game & Watch does not have to commit, like, at all. Right. Oh, but just reads a spot dodge and God, kills him? You gotta be kidding me. What was he at? Like 70? Yeah, that's Game & Watch Lite. He, uh... Boy, can he build a fortress, but he is... He's like the opposite of a glass cannon. He's a glass house. <laughs> a glass house? He's actually a glass house. That's funny. I've never heard that yeah. analogy before. Off the top of my head. Like... Yeah, I guess if Game & Watch is a glass house, then Rob is like... A, a steel house yeah. that never gets knocked down and has earthquake insurance. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely has. But, but it's also built insurance. on a trampoline. <laughs> How does that work? I don't know. That's the scariest thing that I've ever heard of a giant metal house that's built on a trampoline so it can just fly at me. <laughs> I don't want that. So it is. E either way, uh, you know, Balance had a pretty good opening at the start. He got those Nair combos, like kind of how I was saying, but Grayson being able to answer back with some percent of his own. And the laser there was safe because he'd just come out of air dodge lag, so he didn't actually have time to open up the bucket there. So that was really good recognition by Grayson, but oh my goodness, F Smash almost killing right. from one, center stage at like 104 post hit. One wild F Smash begets another, but he wasn't able to find the kill that Grayson was. Now. Ooh, it's, it's really up to Grayson to kind of get these reads and seal out these stocks. Um, I feel like if Balance is able to surmount himself any kind of lead, it'll be a lot harder for Grayson to come back than if, if he has lead and is just uh, able to play to his own pace. There we go. And one thing I saw there, Grayson waited for Balance to commit to that bacon to start throwing the laser. Once he sees that uh, Balance is committed to a defensive option like the forward air or that bacon, 
That's when the lasers can be huge. Ooh. Oh, goes up, gets the apples, and he's gonna heal a little bit. That's funny. I thought that that didn't have that anymore. No, still out of number seven. <laughs> seven gets three apples, and somehow Rob was able to eat them despite being a robot. It's crazy. Um. So now I feel like they're both just kind of throwing out their kill options. The game and watch died to laser. Me. <laughs> Excuse okay. me? He was so high up in the blast zone. Like, who's ready for that laser? I That is not... I would not have been ready for it. But oh. he landed on him with the Nair and then instantly down tilted. That's a really good option. I feel like a lot of... That's like something that you'd see from like more top tier characters in Ultimate. Is like mm -hmm. land on you with their Lagos move and then buffer the, the kill move. Yeah. Uh-oh, but he's dead is here. He? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. That's a confirm off of the gyro into the... Uh, he died at 59 post hit. I mean, he went very far. I mean, he was like ledge. in the blast zone yeah, at the was, time. He was in there. Game Watch is light. But that, that's wild. That's definitely something that can help Grayson on this stage, is just being able to, like, get something like that. Yeah. And, you know, that can definitely destroy your morale. I, it's happened to me a thousand times. Yeah. Uh, and I can say, like, when you get hit by Rob like that, you just have to keep, you know, trying to be in it because it can seem like, like, how am I supposed to do this? You know, he's not going to die till at least, like, 130. And, you know, I'm a complete stock behind. But, like, if he's just able to keep him up in the air like this, yeah, he, he can, can make this comeback. You can do similar things to Rob where he's just not allowed to play the game for seconds at a time. And he he can drop morale just as easily. And now, this it's really important that he doesn't fish for a kill option here. It's important that he just gets as much percent as he can, but do it in a safe way. And Game & Watch is a character that can delete your stock at very little percent, even if you are Rob. If he's able to get this bucket, he can go for some cheesy down throw judges. Or just yeah, he hasn't up. actually used that like at all this game. He hasn't, yeah. Other than the 7, I don't think he'd used judge uh, yeah. at all. Very infrequent, right? But it could be a big game changer, especially you know, if he goes into the last stock and he's sitting at a high percent. Great timing on the Nair, barely beat out uh, Game & Watch's Nair. This is where it starts to get scary. Any ooh, had the F-Smash ready, but, uh, you know, just a bit early. Barely. That's going to take it down to last stock. He definitely can bring this back. But, honestly, 20%, that's where I think he's really in danger to this. Is that, that should kill it. Yeah. So, that move is really weird to DI. Uh, what I found in myself in, against playing Rob is that it depends on like how he drifts and how you drift. So like as you saw there, Grayson started like if this was the stage, Grayson mm -hmm. started like right here and then he jumped up one way and then finished the other way. So because of that, right when he finished, Bounce was in the middle of the the arms. Mm -hmm. So he's just going up. There's nothing he can do there. Right. And Rob can affect